Morning folks, it is Monday the 30th of November. Hard to believe we're at the stage already. Uh, hard to believe as well that we're back to a lockdown. Uh, we just thought it'd be really good during the lockdown again just to give us a little bit of focus each morning. Um, as if we would gather together again and read God's word together in just a short prayer. So I've chosen for these two weeks to read from Thessalonians. So we're going to start this morning with 1 Thessalonians 1. So let's read that together and a short thought and then a prayer. And I'm going to be reading from the New Living Translation Bible. This letter is from Paul, Silas and Timothy. We are writing to the church in Thessalonica, to you who belong to God the Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. May God give you grace and peace. We always thank God for all of you and pray for you constantly. As we pray to our God and Father about you, we think of your faithful work, your loving deeds and the enduring hope you have because of our Lord Jesus Christ. We know, dear brothers and sisters, that God loves you and has chosen you to be his own people. For when we brought you the good news, it was not only with words, but also with power. For the Holy Spirit gave you the full assurance. Now what you said, now what we said was true. And you know of our concern for you from the way that we lived when we were with you. So you received the message with joy from the Holy Spirit in spite of the severe suffering it brought you. In this way, you imitated both us and the Lord. As a result, you have become an example to all the believers in Greece throughout both Macedonia and Acacia. And now the word of the Lord is ringing out from you to people everywhere, even beyond Macedonia and Acacia, from where, for wherever we go, we find people telling us about your faith in God. We don't need to tell you about it. For they keep talking about wonderful about the wonderful welcome you gave us and how you turned away from idols to serve the living and true God. And they speak of how you're looking forward to the coming of God's Son from heaven, Jesus, whom God raised from the dead. He is the one who has rescued us from the terrors of the coming judgment. Amen. Paul, Silas and Timothy all join together in mission and they are writing this letter while they are elsewhere on their journeys just to encourage the Christians who are in Thessalonica. It talks about their faithful work, your loving deeds and your enduring hope and the enduring hope that you have because of our Lord Jesus Christ. They're particularly important words at this time, aren't they? And um, when we think about what's going on around us, and just even as we thought in church yesterday about hope, and where's our hope in this time of lockdown, and where's our hope if our hope is placed in Christ. Uh, but it also talks about their what is results from that outpouring of, of their of their love and of their hope. Um, and it talks about how they're Deeds are an example to others. As, as the church, as Christians, we have a particularly important role right now. Uh, as you look at the news and as you watch everything that's going on, you see about how people are behaving whenever we've been told that we have to have social distance, whenever we've been told not to go out. We're being told to, to be careful about what we're doing in order to help others. So it's important that we as a church set that example um, and that we are careful about what we do because people watch what our deeds. It's no different right back they are in the first century whenever uh, people are watching these Christians and they're talking about it. People will do the same with us. Uh, you, you know from watching the news how people talk about different areas and how people are disregarding instructions. Um, and then how that's taken well, if they can do that, we can do that. That's not the attitude to have, folks. The attitude to have is to show love and concern for one another, to let our actions speak, and to speak out that love, and to show where our hope is, that our hope is in the Lord. You know, this. these just short few verses, um, there's so much packed into them. 
uh, talking about the power of God's love and the power of the Holy Spirit, how the Spirit gives us full assurance, um, and to know that as well, whenever we put faith, then we do expect suffering and how suffering will come, but how God carries us through that. Uh, and that very last line, he is the one who's rescued us from the terrors of the coming judgment. You know, what this is all about is about a, a relationship with God and about how he holds on to us and takes care of us. So in the midst of now this new lockdown, as maybe you feel um, isolated again, as you feel curtailed, as you feel that you're locked away, just again, remember you're not alone, but that God is with you. Remember that others are watching and that your actions do speak volumes to what others uh, and it is an opportunity of witness. Don't see this as a, as a as as being isolated from others, as being locked down. But see it as an opportunity through our actions to show others that we care. Um, and then whenever maybe the conversations come about, well, why do you care? That we can say we care because Jesus cares for us, because God cares for us. So let's get something good out of this. Let's take it and use it for God's glory uh, and take it as a way of letting others know exactly who he is and what he has done for us. Let us have that enduring hope. Let's pray together. Father, again, at the start of this week, just we ask that you be with us and give us the strength that we need. Help us to be sensible in what we do, Father. Um, help us not to be disregarding the law and going out and doing things regardless because people do watch but help us to set that example and then Lord to, to use that as an opportunity to speak about you to share about you with others that others may come to know and trust you that others would have the same enduring hope that we have day by day so Lord thank you in Christ's name we pray amen thanks folks for tuning in um, if you're watching it later on again thanks as well Take care, God bless, and I will see you same time tomorrow. Bye.